name is Louisa. I'm with the Sterling Heights Public Library. I'm going to show you some fun, unique ways to give a graduation gift. We'll start with this one off the top of my head. This is a graduation hat that I've made out of cash to give your graduate. For this, you'll need a, um, a gift box that you have, might have laying around at home. It's a st thicker, sturdier cardboard, or you can use heavy cardstock to make this graduation hat. For the base of your hat, you'll take a band of cardboard, the height of a piece of cash. You'll form it to the size of your head to determine the size. You'll take the top of the hat that measures five bills tall, side by side, like that. That'll be the top of your hat. You'll flip this over so that you have a working space of the bottom of your hat. You'll take dollar bills and tape them to the outer edges of the cap. Take the band that you've cut out and tape that to the top of where your cash is. I'm going to show you an example of how the tape looks once it's placed on the hat. You're going to want to place the tape so that it covers both the band and the top of your hat. It's going to touch both sides of it. Take another piece of tape and go across the tape you've placed down so that it reinforces the base of your hat to the top of the hat. The top Tassel has been uh, made out of some yarn, and I've spiraled the top of that to make it look like the top where the tassel is resting. That's a graduation hat. The next item here I've made is what every graduate wants, is some cold, hard cash. I've taken a can that I filled with water, placed the dollar bill in there, and the way that I um, got the money to stay in there is basically taped it to the can and then I filled it with water. So you'll put the tape on both sides to keep it in place, fill it with water and freeze it. When you're ready to give the gift, you can remove the tape. I'm also going to deconstruct this so I can show you what I've done. With a metal can, the condensation is going to ruin your artwork. So I've taken some paper towel that I've attached to the can with a rubber band. That's gonna protect your artwork, keep it nice and neat. Um, you can also transform this gift if you want to give it as a birthday gift. You can just change the paper on that, add a gift tag, now you're ready for a birthday party. The next item here, I've taken dollar bills and I've rolled them up, placed a sticky note to the, to the dollar bill and rolled it with some twine. And then I tied the twine to the bill so that it looks like a diploma and then I've placed them in the jar. So once you have your little diplomas all tied up, that's how they look. And then you'll place it in the jar. You can cut out a tag from an old greeting card or some cardstock you might have at home, place that on the lid. That'll be your gift tag. Or you can take a little tag with some ribbon, tie it onto your item and give it that way. You can also transform that to a birthday gift. Just change um, the lid emblem that you have there on top. And then you've got little diplomas inside of a little jar there. The next item we're going to do is our butterflies that we're going to make out of cash. We're going to use two bills for each butterfly. We're going to take a bill and meet the corners in the center here on both sides of the bill. And then we're going to accordion style fold the bill. And this will be the top half of the butterfly. For the bottom half of the butterfly, we're going to take another bill and do accordion style going the height of the bill. Okay, so I'm accordion style folding that. You can also use the edge of a counter to get your folds done on your butterfly. Once this part of the butterfly is complete, we're going to attach it to the top of this butterfly wing. And I'm gonna use a twist tie to do that. You can also use a ribbon, just whatever you have. And then you'll fan that out a little bit. And now I've got a butterfly. So the way you can give this is you can either put it inside the card you're going to give your graduate. You can put it inside of a bag with a little bit of shred with your card and give it that way. Another gift you can do with a butterfly is make at least three of them for this next gift. You'll take some ribbon and you'll tie your butterflies to the ribbon. Once you've done that, you'll tie or tape the ribbon to the top lid of a box. Okay. 
You place your butterflies in there. Kind of stack them on so that when the box lid lifts off of this, they'll come floating out of the box. And instruct the recipient to lift the box lid up and your, your butterflies will come floating out of your box. The last item I have here is one of my favorites. This is a money tree. I've taken a little, um, just a little pail that I've purchased at the dollar store and put some shred in there. In the base of it, I put some foam, some crafting foam. You'll put that in the base, cut to the size of your tin, and then poke your branches that you find laying around outside into the foam. The way I attach the cash is I take it, I fold it the length of the bill, and then I'm gonna give it just a little pinch in the middle, the shape of a V. And I wanna make sure when I'm taping this to the tree that I'm getting both parts of the cash, and I'm gonna stick it right onto a branch and tape it to the branch. There's no rhyme or reason to it, I just want it to stick on the branch there. For the lottery ticket that I'm placing on here, and basically, this is what the back of it would look like. I'm just taping it branch to the ticket, okay? So that's very easy to do. And this is one of my favorites because money doesn't really grow on trees, or does it? Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you for watching this video. Everyone have a great day.